Browns offensive coordinator Todd Haley said, quote, it was time to move on from the Steelers after they decided not to renew his contract this offseason. Now, Haley says he is, quote, very proud of most of the things that he did. And Ben Roethlisberger got better under him. So do you guys believe that Big Ben actually got better under Haley? If you look at the stats, guys, 60 seconds on the clock, we can start right now and I'll start this. And looking at the stats, he's better in absolutely across the board every category here. But it's the rings that make the argument, so right? Because he thing. didn't. Yeah, not and good. Didn't get the rings. I'll go first. I love Todd Haley as a play caller. I thought he did a great job in Kansas City, did a great job in Pittsburgh, and now he'll go to Cleveland. What's most interesting is now, all right, Roethlisberger was this fully molded piece of clay. Arians had him for all those years. Malarkey had him. And then, of course, Ken Wisenhunt had him. This is where the test is for Todd Haley. Set your clock. So it, did he get, did Roethlisberger get better? Stat-wise, sure, but I'm not sure Roethlisberger necessarily needed someone to get him to that next step. Right. By the way, Dennis Rodman also told Jerry Krause once that he played for free. He also said he played game naked, but that's different. I would say, yes, undoubtedly he got better under Todd Haley. Guys, there was a time when Ben Roethlisberger was the 17-touchdown, 15-pick guy, and they won a Super Bowl. This guy we know who chucks it all around for 500 yards, that was not how he used to be. I think Todd Haley made him a lot better. Yeah, some say that it's the coach. Some say it's the guy just aging, getting better, wisdom and experience. I say it's a combination of that along yeah. with Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, and the host of wide receivers that he plays with. But I will say this, Todd Haley doesn't get enough credit that he deserves. Oftentimes you see that contentious relationship on the sideline, and you think, oh, they don't get along. That's a family. And now that he's in a new place, I said set your clock because the time is now. Let's see what you really got as a coach. I don't know that they didn't get along. It doesn't look like they got along. Right. The way that you listen to Big Ben, we've, we've like dissected his postgame pressers, things that he said on the field, body language. They don't need to get along for him to make him better. I think he did get better under Haley. And if you look at those three Super Bowl appearances, mm -hmm. Those are top three defenses yeah, that took yeah. them there. He never oh, had no. that with Haley, so there's a thing to that as well. All right.